Hi, I just wanted to talk to you today about monowires. It's something I get a lot of questions about, and I wanted just to show you how they compare to regular wires of the same size. And what I have here is I have our low continuous monowire in size 32, and I also have our R2 regular classic underwires, also in the same size 32. Now, the first thing I want to say about mono wires is they are solely for aesthetic purposes. They are for the look that you get from the wire. They're not for comfort. They won't give you any kind of special fit advantage. So that's something to consider. And there are ways to get the same mono wire look with by using two regular wires. And that's what I would recommend for that same purpose. And um, later I will actually post some photos of some examples of how you can do that. But first let us compare the, 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 the two wires. You know, one thing often I get questions about is people get their mono wires, they're very excited, and they're like, it just seems really small for the size. But you'll see that the mono wire does actually relate to the regular size wire. And I'm just going to overlap them so you can see. They're the same base curve, which meaning they're the same right here. But what the mono wire does is because it has the bridge included, is it will put the two breasts closer to each other than you would on a regular bra. I'll take these two regular wires here. And you'll see that on a regular bra, maybe you're gonna have the bridge about 20 millimeters to 25 millimeters apart. And so you get them like that. You see automatically, same size, but it's wider spaced. So that feels a little bit more comfortable. Um, another thing you'll notice, and let's see if I can get a thing, is the wire is actually three dimensional and it's kind of a little bit hard to see from here. It's much easier if you have it resting on the table. Now let's see, you can see that I can scoot my finger under there while still having the wire on, on the table. And that is going to give you an example of how it will fit against the body. And the reason for that is that so when you have it against the body, that you're going to have that curve so it comes around your chest. Because on a regular bra, these two are only connected by fabric and the fabric can art articulate and it can go around and be pulled, pulled, pulled by the wing to be back. On the mono wire, you don't have that because you have rigid wire where you would have fabric. So on a good mono wire, that will be three dimensional. I've seen others where it's simply, it's just flat. If it's a more flexible wire, that might work. Again, mono wires aren't for comfort. Um, but what you do have to realize is just like any other bra, you must add wire spring. I know the temptation is just to, I'm gonna take this wire, I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to trace around it because that's that's the shape I want. And you know, that's my bra pattern. Don't do that. Trust me. It's not going to be comfortable. You or your customers are not going to be happy because what's going to happen is see this, the arm here, it goes straight up. It's going to go straight into your armpit or your breast tissue. And being that, they're much closer together. Again, they're much closer together together if you do not spring that wire, you're going to have this, this arm overlapping into your breast tissue. It's not going to be comfortable. And that's why sometimes the comment is, this is not the right size. This is too small. No, you have to spring it. You got to spring it open. And you do that with the pattern. If you look at some of my other other posts on my on my website, www.bramakingblog, you'll see that you spring the wire open. And you'll see that also changes the three-dimensional shape. It will start to hug around your rib cage. And you'll get a much nicer, it's much nicer shape. And I really want to challenge you when you're looking at ready-to-wear mono wires to see if you can tell whether they've sprung the wire or not, because 75% of the time, you see they don't spring the wire. But again, it's just for aesthetics. It's usually for swim wear. It's just to look good. But I know you make your own bras because you want, you want more than just to look good. So what I suggest always is to spring the wires the way you would on a normal, 
I'm a normal normal wire and actually try and draft the draft the pattern as if it had a really narrow a really narrow um, bridge spacing. So really understand the relationship between the size of your mono wire and the size of your standard wire. And you can, you can use your standard pattern by making these adjustments for your mono wire. So then you don't need to be tracing around the wire in order to get your, get your pattern. And I hope this is helpful. This is the first video I've made of this kind. I want to try and make a few more. And thank you for tuning in.